Let me be plain. Giving power to an enemy so that that enemy can continue to harm you is the definition of stupid. Your money is power. The bottom line of all of this is that feckless, irresponsible, and dangerous uh, policies by your politicians to vote your money into the hands of people who are actively and intentionally harming you and your family, that's just bad news. We should stop funding our enemies. It's a warning that should evolve into a national demand in today's preamble. The allegedly Republican-controlled House passed the Biden-McCarthy debt ceiling deal with more Democrat than GOP votes. Now, I say the House is allegedly run by Republicans because even though the GOP holds a slim majority, Democrat priorities seem to be getting voted on and approved, while GOP priorities are talked about and talked about and talked about some more, with no force of law behind them. The debt deal did nothing to bend the cost curve down from our government's catastrophic spending levels, instituted by complete Democrat control of government from Joe Biden's first two years of occupying the Oval Office. In fact, the deal increases Joe Biden's already disastrous levels of spending, the same spending that drove inflation to historic highs. The only difference is now the GOP co-owns the inflation. The GOP co-owns the high interest rates and the predicted recession brought on by a government that is robbing the private sector of precious capital. Speaker McCarthy hit Twitter to try and put lipstick on this pig. Quote, it is simple. Joe Biden wanted to spend more and raise taxes. Republicans fought and won to reduce spending and stop Biden from radical overreach. The systemic reforms we set in place mark the beginning of historic change in Washington, end quote. Now, I'm not sure if you caught all that verbal jujitsu, but let me explain. Speaker McCarthy says Joe Biden wanted massive spending increases on top of his already massive spending binge. Instead of granting Joe Biden a fast pass off the fiscal cliff, the GOP said they will let him drive the economy off of that cliff, but at a much slower pace. Put another way, McCarthy's explanation is like the proverbial child, saying he wants $1,000 and a permissive parent comes along and gives the child just $800. The permissive parent then tells the spouse, look at all the money I saved. The first proposal passed by the GOP House was modest, responsible, and fair. It raised the debt ceiling by $1.5 trillion in exchange for reduced overspending. It didn't eliminate overspending, just reduced it. The bill had the support of conservatives, of Republicans, and the majority of our country. Even a CNN poll showed that nearly two-thirds of the American people wanted the debt ceiling raised, but with real overspending reductions. Instead, the House GOP locked arms with Joe Biden, codifying his corrosive and childish overspending levels, and then rewarding Joe Biden with a 1% increase in spending in the second year of that two-year deal. And what did the GOP and the Democrats team up to buy with your money? On your screen right now are a mere fraction of the headlines about the FBI and DOJ abuse of our people, our laws, and our Constitution. From refusing to investigate firebombings of pro-life centers, to targeting Catholics, to launching the Trump-Russia collusion hoax with no evidence, to refusing to turn over documents that allegedly implicate Joe Biden in a criminal influence peddling scheme. Now, I could have highlighted more, but you get the idea. As the cries and suffering of our people grow louder and louder, did the GOP reduce the amount of money to these rogue agencies? the very same agencies who are seeking to wipe the Republican Party out? No. According to Tom Fitton of Judicial Watch, Republicans responded by increasing the amount of taxpayers' money flowing to these corrupt agencies. The GOP rewarded Democrat corruption. Now the GOP co-owns, with those same Democrats, the government's lawless and traitorous attacks on our people. Now what about the idea that your elected leaders were doing all of this, all of, the, all of your bidding by voting for the 
devastating debt deal. Well, not only does the CNN poll put that nonsense to rest, we the people have shown that when we have the power, we act to protect ourselves and our money. Sales of Bud Light have plummeted nearly 30% year over year. When Bud Light went woke, making transvestite Dylan Mulvaney part of the Bud Light team, Americans not only said no, but they said hell no. And now Anheuser-Busch and many of their other beer products are taking massive losses. Meanwhile, Target's losses continue to mount, losing nearly $14 billion after they bought into the Democrats' anti-science transvestite war on women by coming out with anatomically absurd clothing lines for kids. Moms across the country have hammered the outlet after they doubled down on their cultural Marxist woke agenda. Formerly Christian business, Chick-fil-A has abandoned biblical doctrine and embraced the die doctrine, diversity, inclusion, and equity, by adopting the shaming of people who have a particular color of skin. That's racism by any other name. The CEO was recently caught on camera saying that whites who were never slave owners should act with, quote, contrition, humility, shame, and embarrassment, end quote, for the history of slavery in the U.S., Calls for boycotting the newest woke business are growing after folks read on the website that, quote, Chick-fil-A Inc.'s commitment to being better at together means embedding diversity, equity, and inclusion in everything we do, end quote. And Americans say, fine, you can do that, but you can surrender to the cultural Marxism with your own money, not ours. Americans believe in doing what's right. Our government simply doesn't. Our government isn't worthy of the people it seeks to rule. Contrary to what they think about you on Capitol Hill, I know the American people are smart. They know it is stupid, foolish, and ultimately self-defeating to finance your own enemy. Someone should tell the majority of those who call themselves Republicans this elementary fact. 